So, Father, we, we come again with our hearts. So, thank you that you are a promise. You're a promise-keeping God. You're faithful to a thousand generations. And, um, and Lord, we, uh, we pray that as we, as we come today, that you would change us and that you would transform us into, into the image of your son. That's the, that's the ultimate goal. That we'd be like Jesus, see the kingdom like Jesus. And come into that, Lord. And so we lay it all before you. We ask you for your presence in every room, wherever we are across the, the city now, that your presence will be there tan- tangibly with us. And Lord, we love you. We turn our hearts to you, we turn our affections to you. We pray, we open our hearts and our minds to you to be transformed, totally transformed as your word renews us. Thank you, Lord, for your glorious plan for us and for the earth. And may we be a part of it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, 17, what is our plan? Recently, I heard that one of the most prominent leaders in an important segment of Christian life blew up, became uncontrollably angry when someone questioned him about the quality of his work. This was embarrassing, but it is accepted, if not acceptable behavior. In this case, the one who was questioning him was chastised. That is a familiar pattern in both Christian and non-Christian power structures. What are we to say about the spiritual formation of that leader? The same question arises arise with reference to lay figures in areas of life, such as politics, business, entertainment, or education, who show the same failures of character while openly identifying themselves as Christians. It is unpleasant to dwell on such cases, but they must be squarely faced. The sad thing when any individual fails is not just what he does, but also his heart and inner life that are revealed when he does it. We find out who has has been all along with his inner life has been like, what his inner life has been like, and no doubt also how he has suffered during those years, before and before he was found. What kind of person has he been on the inside? And what has he been, what has this been relationship to God? The effort to change our behavior within inner transformation is precisely what we see in the current shadowness of Western Christianity. If we, through well-directed and unrelenting action, eventually receive the grace of God in salvation and transformation, we suddenly will be incrementally changed towards inward Christ-likeness. The transformation of the outer, especially of our behavior, will follow suit. Jesus said that no good tree produces bad fruit, Luke 6, 43. If we are to be spiritually formed in Christ, we must understand and implement the general pattern that all effective efforts towards personal transformation must follow. Appropriate vision, intention, and means. If this VIM pattern is not put in place properly and held there, Christ simply will not be formed in us. When we do these things, we later regret, especially when we do not. We do them publicly or found out in some way. We often forge great intentions to change. It's possible the prominent leader mentioned earlier regretted his actions privately, but noticed that it was effective when the one who questioned him about it was chastised. He was affirmed in his in this anger, and the pattern will continue. On the other hand, perhaps he kicked himself for losing his temper and asked God for the umpteen time to change him. Such regret usually does not change us. Wow. But what if that person met with some folks who loved him and together they devised some simple disciplines to help him stop managing his world with anger and contempt? Perhaps his vision of life in the kingdom in which he didn't insist on his own way would feel this intention to follow through as he was bolstered by those who loved him. Perhaps he would go on to become someone invited questioning and all his endeavors would profit enormously by that. 
to this experiment. Reflect for a moment on the things that you'd like to see change about yourself, especially those that would help you reflect the understanding, feelings, decisions, and characters of Christ. You may wish to write this down. Then ask God for wisdom as you look at your list and ask yourself, what does each item tell me about who I have been all along? What has my inner life been like? How have I suffered for this? Tell God what kind of person you would like to be on the inside and what you would like your relationship with him to be like. Wow, that's amazing. 